President Trump reminding the press that he's not to blame for dividing the nation. But does he have what it takes to bridge that divide? Here to weigh in, Fox News political analyst and co-host of The Five, Juan Williams. Juan, good morning. Thanks for getting Hi, up Pete. early with us and joining us. Good so morning. We talk about division. The mainstream media is already trying to criticize Trump, saying he's dividing the nation. He points out that we had a president in Barack Obama who sought to fundamentally transform America, and people reacted to that fundamental transformation. Who really did divide this country? Well, first, Pete, the president is right. I mean, the country was divided long before he came to power. And who divided the country? You know, there's so many critical moments that we've seen over the course of, let's say, the last 20 years. I would start with the Clinton impeachment, uh, because when you go back to that, and that's the birth of so many of the liberal groups that were resisting the Republican effort to impeach the president, President Clinton. Um, and then, of course, you come to the 2000 election uh, Bush v. Gore and all the arguments over hanging chads. Pete, you're too young. You don't remember oh, the stuff. Oh, come on. We remember. <laughs> <laughs> but but that, that sorely divided sure. the country. And then you come, of course, forward to, uh, you know, where the weapons of mass destruction. I always think one of the moments when we were together was after 9-11. You could see our flags everywhere and people standing as American strong and tall and proud. Of course. Yeah. But, but, you know, President Trump, he was elected taking on the Republican Party, but also then taking on Hillary Clinton, taking on the establishment, saying, I'm going to take a new view at old issues, and hopefully he's sought and seeking to unite this country. How can the president unite and bridge the divide when he's got a media under siege that has him under siege every single moment? Does the media not share a great deal of blame in, in driving a wedge between this president and his desire to unite us? That's an interesting question, because I think from the media perspective, and we you know, at Fox have experienced this with, experienced this with President Obama. Mm -hmm. I think we, I think the media has a legitimate role in you know holding powerful people to account. In the case of Obama, trying to transform the country in ways that, as you pointed out, some people found just wrongheaded and had questions about, didn't like. Um, but when you look at President Trump, uh, President Trump has his own media, social media power sure. here. And when he goes after everyone from Arnold Schwarzenegger to Meryl Streep. You think, well, gee, I don't think the media is necessarily uh, the blame when you say he picks on people, he identifies people who he doesn't like or who don't like him, and he punches back. Well, the media, but, you know, go ahead. People used to say you don't fight, you don't want to battle people that print ink by the barrel. I mean, he's That's going right. at the failing New York Times because he's, the, he's one of the only people that can do it. Uh, is that not reset the conversation at the very least and make it an honest one? Oh, reset, reform, transform. I mean, it's <laughs> unbelievable. You know, to me, we've never seen a president with this kind of power. I thought the press conference this week, for example, sure. was just pure Donald Trump goes directly to the American yep. people, directly to his base, and speaks their language. I don't know if you were following on Twitter, but so many people sure. pointed out to me, if you listen to the Republicans, they loved it. If you listen to the of Democrats, course. couldn't stand it. That's true. No, they'll call it Armageddon no matter what. Juan yeah. Williams, thanks for joining us. We appreciate My it. My pleasure, Pete. Have a great weekend. Likewise. Likewise, sir. Thank you.